And I think the first kind of um, a big innovation, I think the aha moment for us was this concept of plastic credits, where we essentially said, can we borrow from the carbon space? A lot of you must know about carbon credits, right? It's um, really, I think, revolutionary concept that was able to unlock a lot of private sector funding um, and use that funding to um, kind of scale up and capitalize solutions that combat a climate change. And we said, can we do the same thing, but for plastic? Because there are so many amazing innovators, amazing waste management enterprises on the ground that are just cash strapped, that just need kind of financing to scale up the wonderful work that they're already doing. And so we spent a long time and eventually kind of created um, the first plastic credit platform where all of a sudden, you know, impact had become accessible where anybody anywhere in the world could come in and say, hey, I have this one dollar. And if I put this one dollar into the platform, tangibly four additional pounds of plastic waste can be removed from the environment. And this is done through kind of all of the different projects we have on the ground um, that are systemically building holistic kind of infrastructural uh, solutions to keep plastic out of the environment. That was kind of, I guess, the the um, the the growth like from the idea stage to kind of okay conceptually what can we do with plastic credits um, and then the final step was then saying okay now we have plastic credits um, how do we get people to participate in it right how do we get people interested how do we get businesses interested um, and that's where we came up with the plastic neutral certification which was you know I think uh, by by a lot of sense spurred by this amazing consumer awareness and interest in the space right where um, in the last five six years we've been seeing sustainable products are growing 500, 600% faster than regular products because people are voting with their dollars and people are saying that we want products that are good for the environment, good for the world, and not just about the profit line. And, and so there was all this kind of, I think, um, awareness and, and, and need from brands to do something about the plastic footprint. And so the plastic neutral certification is essentially this kind of accessible way for them to participate. Um, and that's exactly, and then uh, Brian can tell you more about how Medicine Box is doing it, but but essentially kind of saying, okay, this is my plastic footprint. Um, I'm going to measure it and I'm going to fund the removal of an equivalent amount. So essentially purchase an equivalent amount of plastic credits um, to offset my own footprint um, as kind of a starting point in my sustainability journey. Um, and so that was, so we launched the plastic neutral certification um, about 10 months ago now, um, I want to say, and it has been kind of a massive revolution that I think it sparked. Um, we have businesses all over the world and in every major continent um, across pretty much every sector um, that, that's participating here. Um, so it's been a pretty, uh, I think, uh, rewarding, um, grueling journey uh, going from that landfill three years ago to kind of where we are today.